My latest video on my main channel is making a folding pocket knife and I made the blade out of a worn out saw blade that I cut to size shape and then I heat treated in this small forge. There's really not a whole lot to it. It's just made of loosely put together fire bricks. These are the insulated types and I drill the holes in this one here for the nozzles of just regular propane torches. The one thing to look for when you're buying a torch for this is that the holes that the air draws in through, these ones right here, have to be a little bit further back from the nozzle so that when you stick it in, you're not blocking those holes with the fire brick. It has to draw air in there to burn properly, otherwise the torch will go out. So yeah, like I say, very easy. I've just got the bricks loosely put together. There are four, and then I have another one to close in the end. Originally I had the holes in the fire brick both pointing uh, forward, because I'm using two torches. Uh, I figure I need a little bit more heat for you know doing bigger stuff. A small blade like the one I did for the Foley knife really doesn't need that much heat. You could even do it with one torch in an arrangement like this. But I changed the arrangement here. I drilled a new hole in this brick right here to face the map gas nozzle backwards so that the two flames will kind of meet like that in the middle. And I think that that will cause enough turbulence to um, you know, cut down on the hot spots that you'll get on the blade. You've got to keep the blade moving back and forth when you do put it in here. Otherwise, it will heat up too much in one spot, especially like the tip. So I'll just quickly put it together to demonstrate how easy that is. One brick goes on the bottom like this. The next one goes on top. And then the one with the holes in it goes in beside it. And then to close in the top, I've got another one right here. And then, of course, the one that goes on the end. I have this set up on my steel work table here. Uh, you really want to have something that won't burn underneath it, even though the outside of these bricks really don't get hot. When this is running at full temperature, I can put my hand on here, you know, for a short period of time, and it really won't burn you or anything like that. That's because these bricks are well insulated. Now, where you would get these bricks, um, I'm not sure... Uh, if you could actually get them at, say, a building center or anything like that. I know that you can probably get these kinds, but these are harder and they don't insulate as well. And you would use these for wood stoves or uh, fireplaces. I don't know if you use this kind for fireplaces, but you can get ones, thicker ones for fireplaces too. The other place is a pottery supply uh, store or outlet. They sell these bricks because this is the type that go in kilns that they use to fire ceramic. Okay, that's enough talk. Let's get this thing started. I found that the best way to do this is put the one in the back and first unlit and take the one from the front and then light it, put that in and then open the valve on the one at the back and that will light itself as well. Okay, time to see if the heat treating was actually successful. When I took it out of the forge, I plunged it here in uh, used cooking oil. Really doesn't matter what kind of oil you use, uh, but used cooking oil or cooking oil, peanut oil, this that's what this mostly is, will smell a little bit better when you do it. Uh, motor oil works also. Uh, used motor oil will work if you're trying to be frugal, although that really does stink. So what I've got is the blade and I've got a pair of pliers here and if it's been successfully heat treated it will be very brittle. Now this is steel here. This is not you know cookies but you should be able to crack it off like that. Just snap little pieces off. Of course you can't snap your freshly made blade to test to see if it hardened correctly. So the other method to tell if it's actually hard is that a file won't cut into it. So that's how you would test a saw blade to see if you can heat treat it to make a knife with. It should snap like that after you heat treat it. So I cut off a small piece, uh, put it in the forge until it gets, you know, a little past red hot, dunk it in the oil, and then it should be brittle like that. Now, 
that wouldn't make a very good knife. So what you have to do next is temper it. I generally do that in my kitchen oven. I just take the blade, put it in the cold oven, turn the oven on to say 400 degrees, leave that running at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes, and then let it cool down in the oven. And it should be the right hardness. The other way you can do it is a little bit more risky, but you can do it with a torch and just heat it up until the color changes, but you really need to clean the steel first. Um, it will go to a kind of a straw color is what they call it, but that can really be tricky if you're just a beginner. A few months back I also did an electric version of this, a little bit trickier to do. I used an old heater, the element out of that. It was able to get up to temperature though quite easily in this enclosed space. So that might be an option for those of you that, you know, don't like fire. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time.